guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a tablescape that I am creating for Mother's Day. This would also be a great something to do, like maybe a bridal luncheon. If you are an event planner, you want to kind of invite your bride over and do a little bit, you know, of a luncheon um, before you guys enter into the wedding season. Um, but I just love the color palette of this. I wanted to take the leaf out of my table you guys as long as i've had my table like i have never taken the leaf out of my table so i am definitely going to do that today and turn it into a round table so we're gonna see how this turns out i hope you guys enjoy this and without any further ado let's hop right in first thing that we did was remove the leaf from the table now i told you guys that i had not attempted to do this since we purchased the table and our table was purchased from an antique store, we had the table painted. For those of you guys who have been following me for a long time, the table was originally black and I wanted it to be this like French antique distress type look. So I had no idea how to remove the leaf and make it a circle table instead of an oval table. So I really struggle with this process. And then I thought to myself, like whoever owned this table back in the sixties, they didn't struggle like this. So I came up with this amazing plan. I pushed the table against the wall because my husband, husband was at work. And then I just slid one side into the other and voila, there was my circle. Now, who would have figured that out? So once I got the table in place, I immediately looked at the amount of space that was available around the table. I do like that it it made the space look a lot larger. And I I um, went ahead and start to started to put the tablecloth on the table. Now, a few years ago, my girl Carrie over at the channel, Very Carrie, bought me these pedicure sandals. I absolutely love them and I wear them every other Tuesday when I go to get my nails and my feet done. And so that is why I'm wearing sandals in this video. Um, they are so great, you guys. If you can find them, definitely grab them. I think she got these from TJ Maxx, but you can find them on Amazon. So next up, I put on the uh, overlay for the table. I absolutely love this. It's a champagne colored overlay mixed with golds and creams and bling. And then I decided to add the clear gold chargers with the gold beads on them um, in order to pick up on the gold that you see and the champagne that you see in the overlay. For the centerpiece, I wanted to do something very small and dainty. And my upcoming bride, this is actually a floral centerpiece from her bridal shower. And I just thought, you know, hey, let's create a beautiful tablescape around this centerpiece because it's so dainty and it's so beautiful. I love the lush greens and the beautiful blush flowers along with the white um, hydrangeas and, you know, the other florals that are mixed in. And I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And then I added two of the taller gold stem candles with the off-white candles on each side. Now for the plates, I purchased these blush plates several years ago from Walmart and they were just 98 cents, you guys. I don't know if you remember when we hauled them, but Very Carrie had them and then I went back and someone found them for me um, at a local Walmart. I think it was Lori, one of my old bosses. So thank you so much, Lori. I love my blush plates. So um, I'm going to use the two pink ones and then I had this kind of a damask print um pink and or blush pink and white one and i'm going to do those on the opposite side of the table and i just kind of love to mix and match the china um when you're you know doing your place settings sometimes i like things to match but then sometimes i like to kind of mix and match the place settings to give a little bit more interest and texture to the table and since the the under the um, tablecloth underneath the overlay was already blush pink. I just thought that the white added a, just a little bit more interest to the overall um, look of the tabletop. 
Next up, I got these cute candle holders from the Dollar Tree um, with the gold. They just look so modern. And then to just kind of make them a little bit more elegant and sophisticated, I added in the pearls, the blush pink pearls and the um, the ivory colored pearls. And you can also add in like water and a floating candle and it would just make it look so romantic and so cozy but i decided not to do it for this particular look i just wanted kind of the pearls to have their day um, because i really wanted to play on you know the pearls since it was mother's day and i just wanted to kind of play on the fact that mothers bring so many pearls of wisdom into our lives and my mom's favorite piece of jewelry was pearls so it kind of reminded me of her i felt so at ease while creating this gorgeous tablescape Next up, I added the salad plates. And again, you know, all they, although they are the same color, I mixed and matched the patterns. So on the um, plain colored plates, I'm using the pink, blush pink and white salad plates. And then on the blush pink and white dinner plates, I'm going to use the plain blush pink salad plates. I hope you guys got all of that. But you see how much texture and how much interest it brings to the tabletop. I also got this small, like a bread or a saucer um, from Hobby Lobby after Christmas. They were $1.99 each. They had a gold rim on them and they were additional 90% off. So I actually got these plates for 19 cents. And I knew they would come in handy. And once I added them to my Mother's Day uh, tablescape, I just felt like, you know, they were perfect for what I was trying to do. Um, these could also serve as favors because I got so many of them. I could monogram them with like my guest names. They could say, serve as name place cards. Um, and then they could take them home with them and put like their jewelry on them and use them as trinket trays later on. So there were a lot of uses for them. I thought they were super cute and I wanted them to be added to my tablescape along with this gorgeous gold cutlery. I don't remember if you guys remember my haul from Home Depot last year, but this cutlery, I actually got it from Home Depot. And you guys, it is so gorgeous. I've used it numerous times and it still looks incredible. So if you're looking for a beautiful matte gold um, cutlery, definitely check out the Home Depot. I love the fact that the handles on it are really thin and I just love the fact that it's also matte gold and not that really super shiny gold that we are accustomed to seeing um, and um, in your cutlery. So Yes, these pieces were incredible. If you're interested in them, I will try to find a link to them and leave them down below. But if not, just check out the Home Depot. They, they have tons of home decor items on their website. You will not be disappointed. So I will definitely leave a, leave a link down below for them if you guys want to check them out. Next up is the star of the show, you guys, and that is these pearl beaded stemware um, pieces. I got these at Ross for my birthday or Christmas. One of my church members got them for me, and when I tell you guys, I could not wait. I knew I was going to use these for Mother's Day if I ended up creating a Mother's Day tablescape. It was either going to be like a spring or Mother's Day or something like that. I knew I was going to use these. I think they're going to come in handy for like weddings and things like that because pearls are going to be all the rave. And I told you guys that at the beginning of this year, you're seeing them. I told you guys that um, pompous grass and feathers were going to be very um you know, in the trend this year for weddings and events, and you're seeing that as well. So I'm telling you, you're going to see a lot more pearls. They're going to kind of replace the bling or either accentuate the bling um, in this wedding season. So once I added those pearl pieces, I could not resist adding this gorgeous 
pearl knack and ring from totally dazzled.com and right now they are on sale for 99 cents you can get 10 of them for 9.99 and that is 60 percent off the regular price so if you guys are interested in grabbing that deal i think there's a few days left on a deal so i will leave that link down below as well be sure to check them out i'm just going to add that napkin ring to an ivory um, napkin and then i'm going to create a bow around the entire place settings because you know mothers are a gift to us all and the wisdoms you know that they give us in everyday life is just it's it's incomparable like you it's 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 so beyond what you could ever like i just could not imagine going through life without having the wisdom of my mother and the things that she taught me over the years so uh it's immeasurable there that's the word i was looking for other uh earlier a mother's love is simply immeasurable they are a gift to us all so i want to make sure i add that bow to every single setting so as I am adding the napkins to each place setting, I would love for you guys to share it down in the comments below. One of the pearls of wisdom that your mom shared with you as a child that still sticks with you to this day. One of the things that my mom taught me when I was a girl um, was to never get your money and your honey in the same place. Like she was like, don't get your money where you get your honey. And what did I do? I found my husband at work. <laughs> No, I mean, that's a true story, but he was a vendor and we did not really work at the same place. But I would love to hear your pearls of wisdom. Did your mom, you know, kind of share it with you over the years down in the comments below? And I'm going to give you guys a little music for your listening pleasure as you look at the final results. watching be sure to like comment and subscribe i know many of you guys have been missing out on videos because your notification bell was turned off so even if you think it was turned on go back and check it to make sure that it's still on you guys i mean sometimes you know things happen so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe and to all you beautiful mothers out there happy mother's day i love you guys god bless you and keep being awesome. Until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers.